Hey, it's Jackie from Cruise in the World with Jackie. Guess what? It's Cruise Week. Yay! After five canceled cruises in 2020, one in 2021 that we canceled, and then it was canceled anyway. Um, we sail out of Cape Canaveral on Saturday on the Mardi Gras. So we are so excited to be traveling again. Um, we actually will fly down Friday, um, stay in Orlando, and then use GoPort to take us to the port on Saturday. Um, I will do a little update on how all that goes. It's the first time using GoPort. Um, I'm sorry if you hear a dog. We have two. Um, we got a puppy in 2021. Did anybody else get a puppy from 2021? We have a rescue. Um, I'll put her picture in. And you can look at her, but she keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, she's kind of a mutt kind of dog. Her mom was Australian Shepherd and her dad. We don't have any idea. Um, so we don't know how big she's going to get, but she looks like a lab to me. Back to cruising. So uh, Friday we, we fly down out of Philly um, on Frontier. I'll give you an update on Frontier too. So far I have to tell you that Frontier has been excellent. Um, we had these tickets back in March 2020. Um, we were scheduled to fly on March 14th. And as you all probably remember, March 13th is when all heck broke loose. And so, um, and then we rescheduled these same tickets for last September. Of course, there still wasn't any cruising, so we canceled again. And um, Frontier actually has been really good to work with as far as rescheduling and not losing my credits. So I'll do an update on Frontier. I'll do an update on the Go port um, when we come back. Um, I know that tons of YouTubers have been on the Mardi Gras because it's a new ship. And I find that most of the, at least, at least the American uh, YouTubers seem to really favor Carnival. So like tons have been on. Um, but if there's something that you didn't see somebody cover or something you want to know a little bit more information about, if you comment below uh, before Saturday, um, I'll check it out and I'll update you guys on that when I come back too. Listen, I don't have any fancy equipment. I use my phone, so um, I'm not sure how good my videos will be, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll upload them for you. At least we can laugh at them together, um, but I won't be doing any live streams or anything. But if there's something in particular you want to know about, um, you know, make a note and I'll let you know. What I really want to come on here is, I've always had a little bit of travel anxiety. Um, my stomach gets a little upset on the, the day we have to travel. Not so much, I used to be petrified to fly, but I got gotten over that. It's just more like, what can go wrong? You know, are we gonna miss our flights? Is, you know, some, are we gonna get bumped? What's, you know, it just makes me a little jittery, <laughs> I guess. But now with everything else that's happening, it's even worse for me. Um, so I have travel anxiety on this. Um, probably a lot to do with all the new regulations and all. First of all, I haven't flown since um, all of this started. Um, so I'm a little anxious about the flight. And to be quite honest, we live in Maryland and we're, uh, we're retired. So if I hadn't had this Frontier credit we probably would have drove to Florida um, you know made a couple stops maybe Myrtle Beach for a day or two um, but I had these credits and like I said Frontier has been really good but how long are they gonna let me use these credits so um, we're using them in fact the flight was cheaper than the original flight so I actually paid for bags which I'm a carry-on bag which I might not even use but we had the credit and I didn't want to be left with like a $50 credit because that doesn't really work for anything. Um, so, you know, it's anxiety of getting on the plane. Um, and the probably the biggest anxiety is this testing. You know, um, I'm sure you know Carnival's gone to a two-day testing. Um, it's really hard. I have planned. I am a super 
I can't say I'm a very organized person. If you saw my house, you would know that. But as far as uh, planning travel, I'm really super organized. I have everything marked down, times, dates. I have it all ready to go. Um, and then this testing, two day testing came in and it, it made me a little anxious to be, I'm still a little anxious. So um, I have a test uh, scheduled for Thursday morning, first thing at CVS. Now I actually had COVID. Um, so I got tested January um, when I had COVID um, and the test came back less than 24 hours um, at the same location. So I'm hoping it's gonna work that way and we'll be done. But just in case, I ordered the, the at-home test, which I'm sure all of you have watched videos about it. If you haven't, I originally watched a pair of DJs. Um, and then uh, Carnival came out just, I think last week that said, look, we're not gonna be able to have testing at the ports but here's a link to get the uh, that that here's a link to get the at home testing and I used that and I ordered us test so we're gonna go ahead and do the CVS cross our fingers and hope everything works out Thursday morning uh, we'll put the at home test in our bags and if we get to our carry-on bags if we get to Florida and we still have no results that afternoon, we'll do the, the uh, at-home test at the hotel. Makes me a little anxious that I'm gonna fly probably without knowing. Um, but I could, I guess we could do the at-home test beforehand, um, but we're, I think so far we're gonna do the CVS. I really think I'm gonna get the CVS back. Um, like I said, this location, I don't know if they use a local lab or something, but last time it was less than 24 hours. Um, and it was the PCR, not the rapid test. So we'll go ahead and do that. So that makes me a little anxious. And then I'm not sure, but I was watching a YouTuber that actually got sick. I think it was Josh. I'm pretty sure it was Josh that um, had gotten sick on Carnival. I don't know if it was the Mardi Gras or not, but he got sick. He didn't have COVID, but they asked him to quarantine in his room for 24 hours. Well, that kind of freaked my husband out a little bit. And so we went from inside, which we almost always do because we go cheap, um, to a balcony. So we've upgraded to a balcony, which we never do. I think we've only done one other time when it was a really good deal. Um, so still have a little anxiety, the testing, the flying, um, but we do have a balcony, so in case something happens, we we'll, should be comfortable in our room. Um, other than that, I think we're good to go. Um, I had to drag out all my suitcases. They're happy to travel again, I think. <laughs> they were kind of packed. They had stuff in them from the flight that we were gonna take the next day for, um, that was an MSC cruise. Um, so we're dragged everything out. We've got everything in our spare room set out. I got things to wash, but I think we're good to go. Um, but I still do have a little anxiety. But like I said, I've had anxiety before when I fly, um, but I think this makes it even worse. I was looking back at my videos. I haven't done one in a while. Um, really, there hasn't been that much of an update as far as travel goes, so I haven't really made any. Um, but I did notice that back in May of last year, I did kind of a funny, well, I thought it was funny, um, about if masks were going to be needed. Um, and I think people thought it was silly. Well, guess what? We do need masks. Uh, and I'm not a very fashion-oriented um, person. So I've got a whole bunch, different colors. Um, I won't be coordinated. I'm sure some people are really nice coordinated and all, but I did get some fun travel ones and we've got them ready to go. So it'll be a different experience. Um, you know, we picked the Carnival Mardi Gras. I had a uh, onboard credit for Carnival. Um, Carnival is not really my line of choice. Um, I think everybody has, um, favorites lines and I think they change for me we did carnival for years with children and they were wonderful 
I really wouldn't recommend any other line. I'm sure there are other ones that are great with kids, but Carnival's really, really good with kids. And, you know, um, so we did them for years. But as we've gotten older and we don't party, we really never party like hard, but um, since we don't hardly party at all, um, you know, Carnival's just not our cup of tea anymore. But we had this onboard credit and it's the Mardi Gras. And so we're gonna go and see it and we're, and listen, any day on a, on a cruise ship is a wonderful day. So um, we'll get back to Princess and Royal Caribbean, um, hopefully very soon. So thanks for joining me. Um, if there's something, you, like I said, you want me to check out on the Mardi Gras, put a comment below and before Saturday, um, and I will answer it why I'm either on the cruise or when I get back. Um, our ports have all changed. I have to really look at that again because um, we're not going to the places when that we were um, when I signed up and hopefully we're still going to the ones that um, I think we're going to, but if not, we'll have a great day on sea days. And like I said, now we have balconies. So yeah, but if you want to see something on the Mardi Gras or you have a question about the Mardi Gras and you want me to look into it while I'm on board, put the comment below and I'll answer you. And I'll see you when I get back. I'll have some videos that I'm going to upload. I probably won't do a full tour because like I said, we've had numerous travel guys that have gone on one and have done that. But if there's something in particular you want to see, um, list it below. Or if there's something that um, I think is really interesting or different about it, I'll, I'll probably do a little snippet of that. But I'm not going live. Like I said, I use my cell phone. So, all right, guys. Thanks and see you soon.